Hey there crafters, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. You can already tell from the title of this video what I'm working on today. And I am excited to start this resin journey because I've always admired resin art and I love the finished look of resin products. And I really want to get started. I think I've delayed it long enough because I've had my reservations about, you know, doing, uh, using products that would pretty much, um, you know, maybe affect my health. That was like a big concern for me. Um, and I didn't want to be using, you know, epoxy that I, I wasn't sure how to measure or you know, I was just reserved about it. However, I did my research and I, I'm going to try UV resin, right? So it's easier to work with. It's already mixed, so I don't have to be doing all the mixing, uh, you know, outside of creating products where you put stuff in there and make it look pretty and beautiful, fancy, whatever you call it. <laughs> um, so, of course, with UV resin, you need a UV lamp. Um, so this I purchased on Amazon and this one is the brand Mr. Resin. So it's a UV lead curing light. And of course, you're going to specifically go for the UV resin. All right. So I did purchase some molds as well on Amazon and Another key product that you will need when you're working with resin is a heat gun. So this one is a little big. Why I chose this one? Because I have other craft projects that I will be using a heat gun with. All right. So I know persons use um, different sizes, but I, I went with this one because it will be a, mul a multi-purpose um, heat gun for me. All right, so this is my first time using resin, as I told you before. So I'm pretty much testing right now, and I'm taking with you on taking you with me on this journey um, as I figure stuff out. All right, so I'm just going to to get started. I am not going to go with pouring the resin in a container. I did order some. Um, silicone containers, but they aren't here yet. So I'm using these as alternative to do my mixtures if I need to mix anything. And I did go ahead and get some glitter. These are some sequins and gold foil. All right. So another alternative that I will be using, these are skewers. You can also use these sticks for mixing the resin if you have to mix colors. Um, but for now, these are the items that I will be using. And I also have my tweezer. So for protective reasons, most of my videos you would be seeing my hands. But as I said before, um, health was a concern for me when using resin. I did order some black gloves, but they're not here yet. So these will work. And uh, let's jump into it. All right. So if it's your first time here on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button so you don't miss any of my videos. We're here to learn together and I'm here to share any tips that I have learned with you as well. All right. So let's get started. So I'm going to be doing some keychains today. And I don't think I mentioned it, but this resin that I purchased, I got it on Amazon. And three of these bottles came in the set. All right. So I will link those in the description below if you are interested in trying this particular brand of resin. Okay. So one of the tricks that I learned when um, researching resin was to 
hold your lamp uh, high away from your resin when you're just starting the curing process. And after a couple seconds, maybe 30 seconds or so, you can put it closer. So we're going to give that some time and we're going to add the next layer of resin. Okay. So I'm really open to hearing, you know, um, feedback in the comments below how it has been for you guys working with resin. And if you've never worked with resin before, you can also let me know. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. It is definitely, you know, meeting the expectations that I had of working with resin. It's such a beautiful art. All right, so I'm gonna just pop some gold foil in it it's just for oh no here's what i'm gonna try i'm gonna finish this one and i will add some let's see if this will work all right let's do this one So once this side is finished, I am going to flip them over and I'm going to cure from the next side for 60 seconds. I'm also going to cure from this side just to make sure that both sides are cured properly because we don't want any sticky, sticky surfaces going on. Um, hopefully my first try will be a success. So I'm going to remove my gloves um, just to make sure that I'm able to properly check. Moment of truth. And these are still a little bit warm um, from the curing process. So let's see. A little hot. Okay. Not sticky at all. Um, maybe just a few small bubbles but work in progress this is our first try and there is this one where it seems as if the okay so i know i know what went wrong with this one i should have mixed the resin first before putting the the glitter in so there is like a, a little hole right here but i do believe we can fix that um, not too bad for, for my first try. Let's see if we were able to fix that issue. I think we made it worse. <laughs> I definitely made it worse. Um, yeah, so this one was a fail, but I also know what I did wrong. And for my first attempt, uh, yeah, that was a fail. This one turned out pretty, pretty okay. It has a few small bubbles in it, but you really have to look closely to see it. Um, so I'll continue to work on this craft. As I said before, it's new for me and I'm really, you know, I want to really master this craft. So. 
Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about my first try with resin. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing some tips and some tricks and anything you can tell me about using resin because I want to definitely work on creating some really nice pieces. Okay. Thank you so much for sticking through with this one. And I want to say I'm looking forward to a lot more projects using resin. Bye-bye.